Hi guys, welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. I'm Stacy, and today's video is my final video in my series, My First Wigs. Today we will be going over all the wigs that I've talked about, including this one, my fifth wig that I bought. So let's get started. The fifth wig that I bought was Kristen by John Renault in the color 27MB or Strawberry Shortcake. If Kristen looks familiar, that's because I've done a video on Kristen before, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to kind of do a new one, go over her again, since now I have a tripod and a microphone. I'm not shooting my video on a selfie stick, which I believe is what the first one was shot on. So let's talk a little bit about Kristen. Kristen has a lace front and then just an open cap. So she's got some permatees. Although I don't think Kristen's permatees is too bad. You can see it up there, um, but not like in Scarlet or in Felicia. I feel like this permatees is done well. It's what is needed and necessary for the style. So Kristen is, she's got really good ear tabs you can grab onto, good coverage, press them down. Um, there's no extended nape. So it's just a really simple cap construction. The hair fibers are wonderful. Very um, just silky and light and no fuss. I don't get a lot of tangling. I don't have to mess with her once I put her on. So Kristen is a workhorse wig. She is effortless, classic. You put her on, comb her, go. You don't have to worry about it. I don't get a lot of tangling. I don't, I just don't get anything. I mean, she's just, just a really easy wig to wear. And like I said, this color is Strawberry Shortcake, or 27MB. I think in a previous video that I made, I referred to her as Strawberry Syrup, and I have pulled down the other wigs that I've talked about in this uh, My First Wig series. So you'll get to see Strawberry Syrup. That's what I have Scarlet in. Um, so we'll get to do a comparison of Strawberry Shortcake and Strawberry Syrup. There's just a slight difference in the red coloring. Let's get started on the comparison of these first five wigs. I'm gonna rate them on kind of my favorite, my go-to, the one I just keep pulling off the shelf time and time again, all the way down to the one that maybe doesn't even sit on a head anymore, maybe it's tucked in a box, but I still wear her. Number one on my list of my first wigs that I think is great for any beginner wig wearer. I think this wig works with all face shapes and just anybody that that wants to try wigs for the first time and that is Kristen I just think Kristen is an everybody wig I think the amount of hair on Kristen is perfect for a first-time wig wearer and I wish that I would have ordered this wig first and if I can echo what Taz from Taz's wig closet said that I didn't listen to and I don't know why, was pick a wig that is closest to what your hair used to or does look like. And this is what my hair would have looked like had it been healthy and strong, shiny and pretty. This should have been my first wig. Let that be a lesson to everybody else. Pick a wig that is close to your current or what your hair used to look like because there's when you go in to buy your first wig, there are so many other emotions going on that you don't want to get a wig that doesn't look like you because you're not going to be comfortable. Kristen is that wig for me. If you have any kind of uh, similar hair where it's just it's thin and frail and you've had to cut it down. I just think Kristen is a great first wig because it's not a ton of hair. It's kind of just the right amount of hair. And like I said, just an effortless wig. You just put her on, comb her and go. She's not tangly. She's not fuzzy or frizzy. She doesn't, you know, you just don't have to worry about her. So my number one wig from my first five wigs that I bought is Kristen. Okay, let's see number two. Scarlet by John Renault in Strawberry Syrup. 
this is my number two. If you are a first time wig buyer, this would be my second choice for you. If you had curly hair, thicker hair, coarser hair, this is gonna be a good first wig for you. Strawberry syrup is what Scarlet is. Kristen was or is strawberry shortcake. So let me turn around so you can really get a look. To me, and hopefully it's showing this on this light, to me, Scarlet has got more brown and Strawberry Shortcake is more red. It's got the more, um, I don't want to say orange, but it just has that redder tone than Strawberry Syrup. They're very close. Um, I think out of the two, I prefer Strawberry Shortcake. I just, I like the lighter red. And so, those are the difference. But I did a whole video on Scarlet. I love Scarlet. Um, Scarlet, my only con for Scarlet is that, that Permatizzi top that I received on my wig. If you order this, you may not get that. Scarlet is another really easy to wear wig. Lace front, open cap. She does have an extended nape, uh, great ear tabs, very comfortable. I have a 22 and a half inch head, sits very comfortably on me. Okay, let's look at wig number three. Okay, wig number three is Aspen by Aesthetica. This is in the color R302826. I love Aspen. This was my first one with the mono part. So Aspen's got the lace front, the mono part, and then open cap, Aesthetica caps. It's got the great ear tabs, extended nape. Aesthetica has really comfortable caps. And especially for a large head, they just fit wonderfully. So comfortable. Let's look at a comparison between these colors. Aesthetica's is R302826. And then you have Strawberry Shortcake and strawberry syrup. So they're all very similar. Um, I think you can tell an Aesthetica's R302826 is lighter. Probably out of the three, um, Aesthetica's is my favorite. I love this R302826. It's just kind of, you know, it's just lighter. But they're all very pretty. So if you're looking for a red color, I mean, if you order, you want to order one wig and they're out of strawberry shortcake and they have strawberry syrup, I would do that. I would get the strawberry syrup um, or vice versa. Now with Aesthetica, pretty sure this is the only color I have of Aesthetica of red that I really like. I'd have to go back and look. But anyway, strawberry shortcake, strawberry syrup, R302826. Okay, let's see what number four is. My number four pick for beginner wig wearers would be Chloe by Envy. My color is creamed coffee. Another really easy to wear wig, a great style and length. Chloe has more hair on her than Kristen or uh, even Scarlet. So if you're used to more hair though, this is gonna be a very comfortable transition. Chloe does have a smaller wig cap than John Renault or Aesthetica. She's a little bit smaller, not tight, just smaller. Um, but she's got a lace front, mono part, extended nape, um, and just kind of wimpy on the ear tabs, and then overall smaller cap. I think anybody would be very happy with this wig. Her hair fibers are drier and coarser, which kind of is more natural to me. I think it looks more natural. Chloe by Envy, my number four pick if you are just starting out buying wigs. And let's see what number five is. My number five pick out of my first five wigs that I bought is Felicia. And if you watch my other videos, I think you knew that that was coming. Felicia did not stand a chance. 
with me because she was my first wig. This should never have been my first wig. This was way too much hair and completely different than any style that I ever wore. I cannot stress enough when you go to buy your first wig, get it as close to your natural color and style. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. And I did that. I think Felicia would be beautiful on somebody who already has or was used to a thick head of hair that's curly and and dense and uh, thick. Did I already say thick? Thick. I just have never had hair like that. So to put this on, I, I just never could get comfortable in it. I had to completely change her whole look. Had Felicia been the fifth wig that I bought, it would have been a totally different story. I would have known what to do with her. Like now, some of my favorite wigs are by Raquel Welch. Well, if you've ever had a Raquel Welch wig, those are thick and dense and permatease and they are full wigs and I love it now. But my first wig, beginning of July, I, I just wasn't ready. So I need to get another Henry Margot wig because this is the most comfortable cap that I own. And there's no bells and whistles on this cap. There's no lace front. It's totally open wefted. Um, there's nothing, but it is so comfortable. And I've looked at other Henry Margus and they have mono tops and mono parts and lace fronts and they are whole they have a whole line of beautiful wigs. I need to give them another chance. Something to keep in mind, when I when I bought my first wig, there was just so many emotions going on that it it wasn't almost it really wasn't even about the wig. It certainly wasn't about this wig. It was about how I felt about my own hair and myself and then I put a wig on that's not my hair color and not my style, well, what did I expect was gonna happen? Don't set yourself up for disappointment. Get a wig that is close to your hair color and close to your hairstyle, and I promise you're setting yourself up for success and happiness in your wig. So, but this color, like if we go to, I mean, I don't have enough hands to hold all of them, but. So this is strawberry shortcake and this is strawberry syrup. Well, now I'm gonna switch placement of them. So strawberry shortcake, strawberry syrup. This one has got much more brown, which is I think what it is. Now I can't remember the color of it, but um, so see, I wasn't even in my red family. <laughs> I just Buying wigs is such a learning process and that's why you're going to probably own more than one wig unless you go somewhere that just has every color and every style and you get it right the first time. Just know that you're probably gonna buy more than one wig. So don't get discouraged if you get that first wig and it's wrong for you. There is a good, there is the right wig out there. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I've loved making it. I've loved going back and revisiting these first five wigs and revisiting how I felt buying my first wigs. Uh, you know, like I, I've said in my other videos, hair loss isn't fun and it's scary and it there's a lot of emotion tied up with it but if you can find the joy and the happiness that comes from this community and and from wearing wigs and and talking to other people about wigs then it changes everything so thank you for watching hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and let me know in the comments what you thought and what What's your favorite wig? Or what was your first wig? I would love to know that. Next week, I'm just gonna start showing wigs that I wear. Uh, the most recent one that I bought is Maximum Impact by Raquel Welch, and I posted pictures on Instagram, so I'll probably go ahead and do a video on that wig. I've been wearing her because I don't wanna make videos on wigs that I don't wear or haven't worn a lot. There's plenty of videos out there of wigs look like straight out of the box, so I want to bring videos of uh, what wigs look like as I'm wearing them and, and what I think about wearing wigs every day. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.